Hallo Leute und was geht ab? Ich bin Maria Tina and today I want to answer some questions from you guys. But before I get to answering your questions, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about italki. Italki, which you might have heard me talk about last week, is an amazing resource for language learners. It's extremely convenient to use. I mean seriously. Just go home, log on, make an account, and sit around in your pajamas chatting with people from all around the world uh, pretty much whenever you would like to. So like I said, it's really convenient to use. You can use it at any time. You come into contact with so many different native speakers and so many different language learners from all around the globe that it's really easy for you to start a language exchange with somebody, learn about someone else's culture, and learn how native speakers actually speak the language it is that you're trying to learn. Apart from that, they offer tutoring in more than 70 languages, which I couldn't even believe it at first. As I scrolled down the list, I was like, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna have to start learning like 25,000 more languages, um, or well, at least 70. But uh, yeah, it's it, really affordable tutoring. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Go to italki.com or you can click the link uh, down in the description, which has my affiliate address down at the bottom. And I hope to see you guys on there. If you wanna find me and add me uh, to your profile, my name is Maria Handy on there. So uh, if you go and log into italki, we can chat on there in some languages that maybe you won't hear me talk in on my YouTube channel because I'm not that fluent in them yet or have no basic knowledge of those languages but who knows you can see me bumble and I can help you guys out with your German or your English or whatever so I hope to see you there. Das ist nicht das Video was ich für diese Woche eigentlich geplant habe aber ich hatte nicht genug Zeit um das andere Video zu drehen weil ich es diesmal mit einem anderen ganz neuen Stil versuche. So that video will come up next week it's on how to trick your docent into thinking du kannst English which I'm not entirely sure how many of you guys are still in Gymnasium or Realschule, but it could definitely help you if you are a student who is trying to uh, get a little bit further ahead in your English courses and improve those grades. Woohoo! Um, aber glücklicherweise gab es viele interessante, uh, gute Fragen, uh, die in den Kommentaren in den letzten Wochen gestellt worden waren. So let's get started. Riva Ducci asks, where can I find some German films with English or German subtitles? I tried the German Netflix site, but most of the movies are still in English. That is something that can be really problematic, in all honesty. All of the DVDs that I have for German have usually German subtitles most of the time, or sometimes they even have English subtitles. Uh, I also get my favorite TV shows on DVD so that I can watch them with subtitles if I need them, uh, or just because I want to also have the option of watching them in my native language with friends and family who might also watch the show. But when it comes to the looking online for stuff, apart from Netflix and a couple anime websites, I really have not seen that many videos that are films or TV shows in German with English or German subtitles. It's mostly just dubbed over versions or just German subtitles under an English video. So uh, if you're looking for just places to watch German films online, there is Kinox.to uh, and a whole bunch of similar websites that basically offer you links to places that have the videos that you would like to watch. Uh, illegality aside. Um, and there's also BS.to that one is a very good one. I have used it to watch The Simpsons and How I Met Your Mother and The Big Bang Theory and True Blood in German without subtitles, but hey, it's it's still something and it's still an awesome resource that you can check out. If you guys know of any more sets like that, just like write them in the comments section down below. Our next question is from Tomas. Legst du auf dem Sofa und liest den Duden? Ist das nicht langweilig? Ja, also falls ihr das nicht gesehen habt, äh, habe ich äh, mich auf dem Couch gesessen während eines Videos und ich habe mein, mein Duden gelesen. Äh, und äh, das finde ich wirklich nicht so langweilig, ähm, weil ich mich schon seit immer für Grammatik interessiere. Und wenn ich über die deutsche Grammatik oder über die deutsche Sprache im Allgemeinen lese und etwas Neues lerne, dann das interessiert mich so sehr. Also äh, ich bin durchaus ein Nerd um, and graduating college and not being able to study to my heart's content 24 hours a day is have, it's been such a real challenge but yeah basically it is not boring for me to sit there and read the Duden um, das uh, diese Szene war eigentlich ges gescriptet aber das, das könnte auch 
zu jeder Zeit passieren. If you were at my house and you just knocked on the door and I was like, come inside, the chances that you would see me sitting somewhere reading a German book, whether it's a grammar book or the Duden Rechtschreibung or die Duden Grammatik, which I read more frequently than the Rechtschreibung, uh, yeah, chances pretty high that you'll see something like that. So, woohoo! Uh, the next question comes from Jessica. I don't know if you've ever done this before, so I apologize if you have, but you can but can you do a video where you suggest songs, movies, TV shows, etc. that are German? I watch a lot of German YouTubers to study. Uh, great question. I would gladly make an entire video about this, but for now I just made a tiny little list of um, some not songs, I just I made a list of artists who here is a challenge. Look in the comments and find the people who will say that I did not mention every single German band that exists, that I mentioned bands that aren't ones they would listen to or that were popular in a different decade, and um, just tell them that people can decide what kind of music they want, they just want a, a Zugang zu den deutschen Interpreten and the deutschen media. So, yeah. Uh, because I cannot describe how many times I've received that comment like when people ask me for recommendations and I don't name literally every single group that is popular because uh, I also don't listen to all of them or I'll just want you know a really popular one will slip my mind and then I will get like an obnoxious comments to the effect that like du hast du hast Crow vergessen das ist aber Crow Crow ist super und yeah Crow is super der steht jetzt auf dem auf dieser Liste. Okay, so the uh, artist that I would recommend as a gateway to get you into uh, German music scene would be Sammy Deluxe, Seed, Peter Fox, Tokyo Hotel, Nina, Naza, who is actually Austrian, Bushido, Wise Guys, Sido, Materia, Crow. There he is, because I've forgotten him twice on, on lists like this before. Kollega and Kusavash. Again, those are not the only German bands that there are. There are a ton more, especially that one band that is really popular that I can't remember the name of, that they make very aggressive sounding music and everybody's gonna say, how could you not say them? I don't listen to them and I can't remember their name. Sorry. Um, when it comes to movies, uh, pretty much anything with Tisch Schweiger or Matthias Schwieghoffer because there's a lot of films like that that are easy to find. Um, I personally like historical films, so um, Anonima, Eine Frau in Berlin, uh, or films that are based on books. So there's the book Die Deutsche Welle, uh, which is, if you had to read that book in school, or it's just called Die Welle, but it's, it's awesome to watch, uh, and there's the German version of that. But so there's films like that, um, also Stummfilme that you can watch in German that are on Netflix. So I would recommend checking out the German section of Netflix if you have it, um, or you can pretty much scroll anywhere you would like on um, those websites that I listed earlier that have like the links to tons and tons of different websites. They have a lot of um, American and British shows that have been dubbed into German, as well as German shows and other shows that have been dubbed into German. So that's something to check out. Uh, and then TV shows, honestly, I basically just watch Türkisch für Anfänger, uh, is the main one. I don't really have that much time to watch TV, but when I do watch TV, like I said, I'm watching The Simpsons and How Much a Mother, Big Bang Theory, True Blood, in German, but not actual German shows, really, at the moment. But, um, except for THTV, if you know what that is. Also die nächste Frage kommt von Kate. Was mich interessieren würde, schaust du irgendwelche deutschen YouTuber, Serien oder Filme? Wenn ja, welche? Ähm, ich wollte äh, mich über diese Frage äußern, weil hier steht auch YouTuber und ich habe auch äh, manche YouTuber hier rauf gelistet und das sind natürlich nicht alle deutschsprachige YouTuber, die ich äh, angucke, aber die sind Leute, die ich gut finde oder who I'm simply subscribed to uh, currently. And not all of them, because there's too many, but... Es gibt Alexi Bexi, All About Samira, Basti, Büchercakes, Cher Yvonne Zin, Cold Mirror, Die Außenseiter, Dr. Allwissend. If you take tutoring with me for German, you will have to watch videos von Dr. Allwissend, most likely. Die Deutsche Welle, you'll probably also have to take watch videos from Die Deutsche Welle if you do that with me. Einfach so. Funde de Miretzen, Get Germanized, which, amazing resource if you don't know um, 
Get Germanize channel, you need to go check it out. It is amazing. Um, so many different things about German culture, and it's it's very bilingual. It's very uh, accessible, and you're gonna learn a lot if you if you watch that channel. That's probably one of the number one ones that I would recommend if you're interested in like just German knowledge rather than everyday vloggers and people that just talk about random stuff. Very awesome channel. Um, Simon Desu is ta isik. Julian's blog, Like a Wannabe, Mir Relativ Egal, Mude Katastrophe, Mr. Blogify, Mr. Wissen 2 Go, Orientblicke, Sami Slimani und Why Titty. Uh, so some of those were com like comedian channels, others were just vloggers. Um, Bücha Cakes is awesome because she does all of these recommendations for German literature and book reviews and I am so into that that it's awesome uh, but they are definitely a whole bunch of German speaking youtubers that I would um, empfehlen. Vanessa hat gefragt Maria kannst du mir vielleicht seriöse Quellen oder Seiten empfehlen wo ich mit Muttersprachlern auf Englisch, Spanisch, Italienisch Franzo und Französisch sprechen kann? Ich möchte nicht dass da irgendwelche Leute mich belästigen etc. Kennst du solche Seiten? Äh, ja, wie schon gesagt, gibt es italki. Es gibt ganz viele Leute, die auf dieser Website sind und das ist etwas sicherer als einfach irgendwo unsicher online zu posten, dass man mit, mit einer anderen Person einen Sprachenaustausch anfangen will. Ähm, ich würde vorschlagen, ihr geht auf italki oder ähm, es gibt eine große Menge von äh, Polyglots und Fremdsprachenlerner auf Tumblr die immer dazu bereit sind, äh, mit, mit anderen Sprachenlernern in Kontakt äh, zu kommen. So, also Tumblr. Uh, you can go to my Tumblr, Polysprachig. You'll probably see posts of people who are looking for language partners on there. Das war's für dieses Video. Mich würde interessieren, ob ihr immer noch Fragen über Fremdsprachenlernen habt. Uh, or just questions about pretty much anything. I know I'm a pretty open person and I hope to be able to effectively answer your questions in a decent way. So that's awesome. But uh, before we go, just a quick plug in. If you guys know, I recently quit my one job um, and I am tutoring full time this summer in addition to having a part job, part time job. But um, basically, if you guys want to tutor in English or German with me, it costs 12 US dollars or 10 euros per hour. Um, regardless of which of those languages you're learning. Um, if you use a different currency, I would talk to you personally about whatever the fee would be. Um, and payments are made through PayPal. I basically target to whatever you're trying to specifically do to learn your language, whether that's, you know, you want to prepare for taking your English A levels or whether you are going to start working in an international company and need to know English or you're going to work at a German company and need to know German. Um, I really tailor it to, towards you. Um, we work on the vocabulary that you will need for the things that you want to discuss, work on appropriate grammar, um, prepare for exams and Einstufungstests and um, it's really tailored to you guys and you guys have a say the whole time in what it is you get to learn and what it is you want to focus on more. You know, I really hope you guys just send me an email at xxmariathinaxx at gmail.com so that we can see about doing some tutoring sessions with each other 